Dig in, everybody. The gas is out and we cannot reheat this food. Right. Aren't you hungry, Miss Glass? Um, Miss Glass, is, is there a problem? Dear God, help me. I shouldn't have had that burrito. Yes, there is a problem. As you can hear from my sister's gastric rumbling, she has a terrible digestive disorder. I'm here to take her to the hospital for tests. Have a nice wedding. Enjoy the fresh air and sunshine while you can, kids. <laughs> what a strange thing to say. I mean, it almost sounds like she's threatening you with prison. <laughs> Think fast. Nurse Jessie killed Bioglass, but if we say anything, she's gonna frame us for the murder. Wait a minute, why didn't she just frame us immediately? Well, maybe she wanted to torture Bobby Glass first. Well, you can't torture a dead body. Wait a minute, can a dead body pass gas? Joe's right. Oh my god. I just remembered something. The pieces of the puzzle are coming together. I don't think Miss Glass is dead. I think Nurse Jessie. Well, I think she put some kind of voodoo curse on her. You know, Santeria. Mary Jane, that's nuts. What makes you think that? Unless it was my imagination. I saw somebody when we were at the house moving the body who looked shockingly suspicious. If that's true, if Santeria was invoked, then we have to get the body back before Nurse Jessie really kills her. Yeah. Brooke, can I have a little bit more time with you, your book? Okay, Josh. Hey. <sighs> the body's not here. Maybe the witch doctor knows where she took her. Wait, how in the hell do you know Miss Glass's phone number? We only crank color every night, wannabe. This is fruitless. Let's just face it, the wedding is off and we are gonna go to jail. No, wait, wait! Hi, you've reached the Glass Sisters residence. Remember your flu shot and make sure you eat five helpings of fruits and veggies every day to avoid colon rectal cancer. Bobby no longer lives here. I'm at the Los Feliz Crematorium at Vermont and Franklin. Leave a message after the beep. <gasps> oh it's over. She's only ashes now. Yes, but she's never been thinner. Garbage collectors make more than teachers. Did you guys know that? This wedding is ruined. Maybe not. It's nine people's word against one. Maybe, maybe this whole thing will blow over and we won't have to spend our junior year in juvie if nobody, I mean nobody, confesses to the madness we've seen. Rest in peace, Miss Poppy Glass. Beautiful flowers. Beautiful girls putting on shoes, zipping up zippers, touching up lips, all for a wedding where someone will die, starting over only to perish. You guys, we look hot. Maybe our prayers will be answered in this wedding. Today will go smoothly. Of course, Jessie hasn't filed charges yet. Maybe she just wanted her sister dead so she could start over. I can't believe it. This thing actually might go off without a hitch. Yeah, the only hitch being so far that Mary Cherry's an hour late. Hi, Hans! Here comes the bride! So what do we do again? It's very simple. All you do is ask bride or groom's side and then seat the guests accordingly. Didn't you used to work at Mr. Clark's and try and sell us into the white slavery trade? I worked at many sinful jobs before I found God and went to the seminary. I'll screw up this wedding. It's my first. I need it to go right. I am aiming for sainthood. Got it? <laughs> Um, bride or groom side? Brooke's side. I want to be near Brooke. 
That's the make a dream come true deal. <clears throat> uh, brighter. Where's my sister? You? We don't have your sister's body. It was burned at the crematorium. That's a lie. I dropped her off, then went to retrieve her ashes later, and they said she had been shipped elsewhere. Look, Lizzie Borden, we know you're behind this. We didn't take her. Then who did? Good news. The hospital called. They just got a donor heart. My sister was an organ donor. She kept an organ donor card on her at all times. Wait, 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 wait. where's Carmen? I, I, I don't know. We don't have time to look for her. They're probably cutting into Bobby Glass this very minute. Come on! You may begin, my child. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <clears throat> my last confession was in 86. And these are my sins. Actually, only one in particular. Yes, my child. What is it? I can't keep this a secret any longer. I have a confession to make. I... You look like a billion. <laughs> Can you believe we're doing this again? Oh, second time's a charm. <laughs> second? Try a tip. I can't believe I'm marrying the Hollywood legend Eric Estrada at the ripe old age at 25. Dreams do come true. Well, let's review the stupid but necessary bridal traditions. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Damn, I forgot something borrowed. Hey, could you lemon your diaphragm? Man, I haven't felt this jittery since I was on the People's Choice Awards back in 77. Are you nervous? Me? Honestly, yeah. The feet are definitely a bit cold. Yeah, yeah, me too. I feel like there's an arm reaching into my guts, pulling out my internal organs one by one. Okay, <laughs> here's the liver. Good thing she's dead. This is gonna hurt like a mother. Knees. My God, this is a medical first. This person doesn't have a heart. What? Hey, you see my glass? Ever since they cut her open and sent her away? No. Oh. Where is the doctor? Calling Ripley's Believe It or Not. Why? Okay, great. Where's Miss Glass? She's been taken care of, or should I say, disposed of. In less than an hour, my sister will fulfill a childhood dream of mine and be buried. Alive! <laughs> and then it's real quick off to Six Flags for a little R&R, &R, and then on with my life. What's gonna happen to us now? Oh, well, you'll be framed for murder and then spend your junior year in juvie. <laughs> you won't get away with this, Nurse Jessie. You don't have the proof. Oh, I think I do, stud. Some of us should be a little more careful when signing our practice yearbooks. Dear Brooke, I guess it was plotting the death of Miss Glass that made me feel so close to you again. How could you write that? It's not romantic. It was my practice book, Brooke. This isn't over. We're gonna find that body, we're gonna get the evidence we need, and then we're gonna make a scene. Oh, I think not, Sparky. I've sent that body to a place that you wouldn't dare disrupt. 